guys, what's up? It's Olivia. So while you're watching this, I am probably headed to the airport right now to start my Disney World trip. I'm really, really excited. And so today's video is about what I'm packing for my trip. Now this is a video that I get requested about a lot. So basically in this video, I'm not gonna tell you like, oh, bring deodorant, bring a toothbrush. Like hopefully you know those basic things. I'm going to more so tell you the little things that you don't really think of or don't realize you need for Disney. And then to end it and wrap it up, I'm gonna show you some of the shirts um, that I got for my trip. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. And why don't you tell me your favorite Marvel character? Since Endgame just came out, why don't you tell me your favorite Marvel character in the comments down below. Alrighty, I'm gonna start off with some cosmetic things. So, bring sunscreen. This is Neutrogena sunscreen for your face. It is oil-free lotion sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 70 plus. It is called Sport Face. This is what I used my entire last program every single day. You're gonna want sunscreen. Also remember if you have a part in your hair to sunscreen that. And then I'm also taking like other sunscreen for my body, but really make sure you sunscreen up and reapply during the day. Next, for mascara, my favorite mascara is Roller Lash by Benefit. However, I went to Ulta and they didn't have a waterproof version of it, so I went and got the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Curvalicious. I don't think that's going to focus. So here's what the packaging looked like. Um, Here's the mascara and this is waterproof. If you have non-waterproof, it's gonna be fine. Just I know that I'm going to be outside all day, every day. I don't wanna get like that fallout underneath. And this again looks just like roller lash. So that is, will it focus? Okay, it's not gonna focus, but it's the same kind of wand, brush, whatever as roller lash. Now this is a basic thing, but remember to take shampoo, conditioner, soap, razor, contacts, contact solution, glasses, etc. Um, the Disney hotels do have shampoo and conditioner and soap for you every day, but I'm taking my own stuff. I'm staying with my friend. I'm also taking my mini overtone um, for my pink hair, which is pulled up at the moment, but that will keep that in. Make sure you pack your sunglasses. Very, very important. Take some of those. And then something that I like to keep in my bag is a little Altoids case uh, with some medicine in it. So I put ibuprofen in it. I'm gonna put some Tylenol in it and Excedrin. Disney does sell, most of the shops do sell um, basic medicine, but just in case you need it, something small like this fits right in your park bag. Speaking of park bags, I am going to do an entire what's in my park bag video while I'm down in Disney. So I'm hopefully gonna do that with Danielle and Trista or at least one of them. But I wanna show you some different options that I typically take in the parks, depending on the day, depending on what I'm doing. So one type that I take is just the classic, like, drawstring bag. So this is the bag that, like, currently I, you know, take to the gym, but this is still big enough to fit a water bottle, um, your wallet, your cell phone. Um, so here's one bag that sometimes I take if I'm just going for a little bit and I'm not taking snacks and all of that stuff. Another one that I take is this one, and I'm gonna put the Amazon link to all this stuff below. I like this bag. Okay, so here's like my Jansport backpack. So you can see this one is a little bit smaller and this is just a regular size backpack. So um, especially when I was working, I would take this with me or if I was doing a full day in the parks where I needed my water bottle, a lunch, um, and like everything, if I needed everything, I would take this. But then this is perfect because you can still fit your umbrella in the side or here. So that's a water bottle pouch. But um, so make sure you take an umbrella if you're going to Disney World in Florida. You can also fit a water bottle. I do recommend taking a water bottle. I mean, you don't have to, but I don't know. Just the times I've lived there, I've always taken water with me to the parks. You can take in water and you can take in food as well. Um, you can purchase water there. You can go to a quick service place and ask for a cup of ice water. They'll give it to you for free, but it is also nice having your own. So when you do see a, um, a water fountain, you can just fill up. But this bag has a water bottle pouch right here. And then inside it's pretty much just one big pocket. And then a couple like kind of smaller pockets put in there, but 
This is one of the bags. This is probably the bag that I'm going to take this time around. But like I said, on my program, I took this bag around all the time. Something you definitely need to survive long park days is a portable charger. So this one is called My Charge. Um, I will put the link again down in the description box below. Disney does sell something called Flex Rods, and it's $30 each. They have one station in every single park. No, fuel rods, sorry, fuel rods. And you pay $30 for it, you get it, it lasts for a single charge, and then you can go to any other fuel rod station and like turn it in and then get a freshly charged one. They also have these in certain airports, I've noticed, um, and then you can use it at home too, like charge it up. So if you get there and you realize, oh dang, I didn't get this and this is something that I need, you can always buy one there. Another little first aid thing real quick, band-aids. Um, I recommend taking a few band-aids because I'm literally going to be walking like 10 miles a day. That's not an exaggeration whatsoever. So you might want some band-aids in case anyone's getting blisters. Um, in my park bag, I do always carry deodorant with me just because it is a really long day. Um, but yeah, this and then just some basic medicine. I think those are some good things to keep on hand. I am also going to be taking my regular just small purse with me in case there is one night where it's like, oh, we just want to go to Disney Springs or oh, we want to go to Jelly Roll, something where I don't need a park bag, but I need to carry my stuff with me, so taking that. But next I want to talk to you about shoes. So when I go down this next week, it's supposed to be 90 degrees and thunderstorms every day. So that means as far as shoes go, I am taking like waterproof shoes. So these are my cheerleading shoes, but it's leather on the outside. Um, so obviously if I get wet, like right here, it's going to soak in. But like my Skechers, if it gets wet right here, my feet are soaked for the entire day. An extra pair of socks is also something I always keep in my park bag, especially during like the rainy season. Um, but I'm probably going to take these because it's just a very light pair of shoes. I'm probably going to wear these every single day though. And then I am taking flip-flops or slides just to walk when I'm in my friend's apartment um, at night. But yeah, as far as park shoes, probably doing these ones every single day. And then with rain gear, so I told you, make sure you bring an umbrella. I personally am not taking a raincoat because it's too hot to put on a raincoat when it is raining there. But what I do have are a couple of adult ponchos, Disney ponchos, this is their old design. You can get these at like Walmart for like two bucks. If you get them in the parks, it's, how much is it? I can't believe I don't remember the price because I sold these every single day um, this last summer, but rain ponchos, recommend. Before we move into my Disney jewelry, um, ears, shirts, hats, accessories <laughs> that I'm going to show you. Here's just a couple of random things I wrote on my list. Earbuds, um, this is more for just travel time. I also wrote down extra scrunchies, make sure you have those. Um, I, if I could find a mini thing of dry shampoo, I would totally purchase that and take it down there with me. I also written down an autograph book because apparently my autograph book is at home so I'm not taking it <laughs> this time, but make sure you take your autograph book and a pen the longer the pen, the better. Pencils aren't that great. Um, sharpers are fine, markers are fine. Um, and the attendant usually will have a pen if you need one. First, I'm gonna talk about some of my Disney jewelry that I'm taking down. You know what, we're gonna start with this. This is my alien necklace. They sell it at like Fantasmic and stuff. I got it at Cast Connections for once again, $2. I absolutely love this thing. Um, my friends know how much I love it. So I'm taking this. Yes, it's big and chunky, but you know what? I love it. I'm gonna sit up for the rest of the star. I keep changing the camera angle, but whatever. So one thing that I got actually in the mail today is from Chic Little Heroes, and they are a jewelry company, a Disney jewelry company. And their like mantra basically is, we know you can't wear Disney clothes all day, every day, but through their jewelry, you could have a little piece of Disney with them. So here is one of the pieces, and I'll put their website down below so you can see their spring collection. Here's a bracelet they sent to me. Here's Mickey. Here's some little cars with Mickey and Minnie. 
Um, it's really cute. It's really sturdy, which I appreciate. I don't feel like it's going to break or fall off. And then inside the box, they also sent me this wrap bracelet, which is pretty doggone cute. Um, it's got Aurora's dress on it. Ah, oh, focus. Here we go. It's got Aurora's dress on it. It's got a rabbit, um, Mickey and Minnie heads, a thumbs up. So yeah, that's really cute as well. And then they sent me this ring. Take it out of the package. Here we go. So this ring has Mickey heads on it. It's super duper cute. So this is my first round of jewelry that I'm taking. Of course, I'm also taking my Alex and Annie's. So I got all of these in the parks. I have a Mickey one. Um, I have a dream is a wish your heart makes. And then I also have a think happy thoughts from Tinkerbell. This one is a college one. Probably will not take that. Some other Disney jewelry that I'm taking, this necklace, which you guys have seen me wear in a ton of videos. I actually got this in the parks. It was a maroon color, so I don't remember if that's like $13 or $17, but yes. So I actually bought this in the park in 2016. I still love it and wear it frequently. And then I got this. I think my mom got this at Kohl's. So they sell the little Disney charms. This one has Tinkerbell on it. Um, this is like my good luck charm bracelet. So I wear this a lot. I'll probably take this and it's kind of a similar band to this like nice and thick Not going to fall off or break and then I'm also going to take my Mickey crystal ring. I love this thing I had won it my first program, but didn't buy it and so the second program I did purchase it and I love it so I will be taking all of those now. I don't have as many ears and stuff um, like I didn't bring as many to Pennsylvania when I moved here. So the ears I'm taking are the basic Disney one, sequined, <laughs> and then piglet ears. And then I'm also, just for fun, I don't know what I'm going to wear on the different days, um, but I've got my Walt hat and my MU cap. So my battery's about to die, but I want to show you some of these shirts. I got this from Target. Dumbo, it was $14.99 in the juniors section. Super cute, it is a muscle tank. I actually bought this last time um, from Kohl's. So Princess Ariel, also a muscle tank. Guys, it's gonna be nine degrees. I, I want um, all tank tops, pretty much. However, I was at Hot Topic today and they had like buy two, get one free t-shirt. And so, one of the t-shirts I got, I got this as a pajama shirt, but I'm taking it down for my pajamas there. It's all the Disney villains. How cool is that? So it's all the Disney villains. Um, I really like the material of the shirt. Personally, I wasn't going to wear a black shirt in the sun in Orlando, so I decided to get it a medium and just have it as pajamas and a hangout shirt in my apartment. Just buy two, get one free. So I got that, a different shirt, and then my free shirt is Incredibles! I'm so happy. I've wanted an incredible shirt forever. So this might be the day when we do like studios and then the grand finale shirt. So you guys know I worked in Dino Land where there are dinosaurs. We have the ride dinosaur. We have, I don't know what other rides are over there. I don't even know. Anyway, one of our running jokes is when people come off the ride in Dinosaur and they're in the gift shop, they ask about where all the Jurassic Park merch is, where's the Jurassic World ride. Um, they just keep asking about Jurassic Park and Jurassic World and we're like, yeah, that's Universal, not Disney. <laughs> so, <laughs> I bought this shirt that says Jurassic Park and has a T-Rex and I am going to be wearing this on my DAC day just because it's, it's just, it's so funny to me. So that day will probably be this and a hat. Um, Dhaka is really hot, it's one of the hot, it, it is the hottest park because they designed it to be the hottest park, which I think is dumb to make something hotter than Cal, not California, than Florida already is, but I'm not the Imagineer for that. Couple more things, very quickly, make sure to take your magic bands if you do have one. If you don't know magic bands, it's got like an RFID chip and it you put everything onto it, so you're gonna get the My Disney Experience app, you're gonna download it onto your phone. I highly recommend this if you're going to go to Disney World at all because through this app is where you can make fast passes. Um, anything that scans to the Magic Band is like linked to the app. So you can put your credit card on here, your dining reservations, your photo pass photos after you take them, they just scan your band and it will show up on the app. Park ticket, hotel key, etc. So take my Magic Band, already have my ticket, 
up and I actually bought through Undercover Tourist. Here's a flyer that was in my package. This is not sponsored, um, but they were the best deal that I could find and I asked my friends about it and they said, yes, I've heard really great things about that company. And so it did activate um, my park ticket, so I'll let you know how it goes, if there's any trouble with it, but I think it's legit. So I was able to get a five day park hopper for $500, which I know is a lot, but it's better than all the other deals I was finding. So I used Undercover Tourist. And then this last thing that I just forgot to show, take your lanyard with pins if you want to. So yep, here's my lanyard that I've been collecting on since I was eight years old, first time at Disney. Um, so I've got a couple of ones that commemorate different times, like the 45th anniversary of Magic Kingdom. I have that pin, um, tons of Tinkerbells, some Mickeys, some Minis, Donald. Anyway, that's another thing to not forget, because like this is the only time you can actually <laughs> wear your lanyard full of pins. Alrighty, so those are the things that I am packing for my trip, which again, I'm leaving right now as you're watching this. So that's really, really exciting. But I think the main thing is don't forget sunscreen, sunglasses, things that are just like basic needs that you might forget about. If you're going to Florida, make sure you drink a ton of water. It's really humid, it's really hot, and you don't realize you're dehydrated until it's like, you're really dehydrated. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, if you see me in the parks over the next couple days, feel free to say hi. My friend Trista already said she'd take a picture of us. Um, so <laughs> yeah, she volunteered to do that. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep dreaming out loud. Let me know your favorite Marvel character in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeet.